Well, you'll have to probably bring those plants in or at least cover them up if you're north of Highway 29. Once again, we're looking at frost and freeze alerts out there for you folks in the Northwoods. Tomorrow should be nice as a cold front tracks through the state, and we're looking at high pressure, so that means a nice day, obviously. Sunny skies, temperatures will be on the rise starting tomorrow all the way until next week. The holiday weekend, at least Saturday, I think will be decent. We'll see increasing clouds on Saturday, and then the threat of showers and storms possibly Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, and maybe lasting into Tuesday. Here are those weather alerts in the light shade blue. You can see freeze warnings for Lincoln County, Oneida, Vilas County, Forest Counties, and then frost advisories out towards Langley County, Ocano, and Marinette County into the Green Bay viewing area. Again, this uh, starts midnight tonight until 8 a.m. tomorrow. So temperatures likely maybe into the mid to upper 20s and maybe some lower 30s as you get closer to Highway 29. But a lot of us, I think, Highway 29 southward will be above that freezing mark. Look at her high today, 72. The first time we've been in the 70s since Sunday. And we'll be a little bit cooler behind that front for tomorrow. And in the 70s, they could be here to stay. And we're looking at maybe mid to upper 70s and 80s for next week. 62 right now in Rhinelander, 65 for Anago. Pick out your town, lots of 60s and 70s. A good spread out there. 73 for Wisconsin Rapids, 71 Watoma Adams, 61. For Green Bay, where there's a little bit more cloud cover and some showers trying to roll through. Winds will diminish overnight tonight. They have been breezy pretty much out of the west, northwest. Once that front is all the way through, they'll be pretty much out of the north and northwest. And that's going to pull in some cooler air, but we're not talking about a big time cool down. There is the cold front on our picture satellite radar. Just a few showers trying to roll into our eastern and southeastern counties. Again, this will be all the way down to the south, I think, by the time we get to. Tonight. So, your future cast will game plan it up for you. This is going to roll at least until Saturday. High pressure is the name of the game for us on the meteorological menu. So, tomorrow will be mostly sunny all the way until probably Saturday, at least afternoon. After lunchtime, that's when some of those clouds be, will be on the increase and could fire off some showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder. Our best opportunity, I think, for thunderstorm activity would be after 5 o'clock, as you can see on our computer model, at least hinting at it out to our west. And more threats of showers and storms for Sunday and into Monday. So again, tonight we're down to 39, some early showers. It'll be cool, patchy frost to the north tomorrow. Upper 60s, maybe a few spots touching 70 degrees. As those winds begin to turn more out of the southwest, that's when we're going to stick with our 70s from Saturday all the way until next Thursday. So, 71 for Saturday. There's a threat for some showers and storms again, uh, probably into the evening and overnight for Sunday as well, and then maybe a small chance on Monday. And then we're really increasing our temperatures mid 70s for Tuesday, Wednesday, and near 80 by next Thursday.